Hi guys! So three months of 2016 have come to an end and it's time to go move on to the fourth month and bring to you the March favorites. Let's get into today's favorites. Also, if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more as usual. So today I just have one hair care product, so I will be starting off with hair first. As most of you know, if you've been watching my videos for quite some time now, I do have curly hair. So this Ever Curl Sulfate Free Curl Care System by L'Oreal has become my best friend lately. This is amazing in keeping your curls uh, intact. So every time I decide to not style my hair, not straighten it and just leave it naturally, this is what I apply on my naturally curly hair. And I have to tell you guys, it is simply amazing. It is sulfate free, so it is really good for your hair and keeps your hair curly for really long. And yes, it is very good at holding curls. That is what I was looking for. So I'm in love with this product. This is a second bottle. Actually, I finished one and I probably finished like quarter of this one. So it's really good if you could get your hands on this and you have curly hair, then trust me, you will fall in love with it as it is amazing. Next, let's move on to the skin as I just have one product for the skin as well. And the product I'm talking about today is this Olay Fresh Effects Clear Skin Spot Zinger. 2-in-1 Salicylic Acne Spot Treatment. Mouthful. So yeah, this is how it looks like and I am a huge fan of the Olay Fresh Effects line. They have, I think, an exfoliator and a moisturizer as well. I use the moisturizer during the daytime and I use this every time I have a new pimple on my face. So every time I see like a new pimple either starting to come out or a new pimple that's already come up, then I just apply this and let it... I do not rub the cream in, I apply it and let it like dry on the pimple and then wash off my face probably in the evening or the next morning. So that way the pimple actually fades away. It of course takes about two to three days. It's not like in one day it's gone but it definitely takes off the pimples. Sometimes though it leaves a scar. I wonder why because some pimples are just gone without no trace at all and some people some people some acne just leave a scar on my skin but however it the scars are really less so I'm kind of falling in love with this product and I have to figure a way out as to how those pimples have to not leave scars just a few ones that are leaving scars yeah. but otherwise it's really good this is the only fresh effects clear skin spot I got all the three products together as a kit and I went through the moisture. No, I do have the moisturizer and I use it in the morning as they say that it acts as a primer as well. So I just use that in the morning and anytime I have pimple I use this one. But I through the exfoliator, the exfoliator is finished. So I have very little moisturizer and this one left. Of course I have more of this left because I do not use it on a daily basis. I use it only when I have a new pimple. So now let's move into the makeup. The first thing that I have to talk about are these lipsticks. I have fallen in love with them. They are matte, they are super creamy and they stay for really long. So these are the Bite Beauty lipsticks. Ooh. Sorry about that but these are the Bite Beauty lipsticks. And oh my god, they are so freaking pretty. This, I have four shades of course and then they are in Cafe, Tarte, Aubergine and Coolis. So let me just quickly swatch them for you so you know how it is. So these are the four colors and uh, this one's Coolis, this one's Aubergine, this one's Coolis, this one's Aubergine, this one's Cafe. No, no, no. This one's Tot and this one's Cafe. Yes. So they're amazing. They're really creamy and they last for really long. Like for example, I think I had Aubergine on my lips a few days ago. And then I had like a sandwich and it still stayed. Although you could, I mean if you eat something, you could see that the lipstick fades away from the center of your lips. But otherwise, if you do not like, I mean... 
there's no harm in reapplying just there but otherwise they are super long lasting super creamy and super matte and super amazing so they have become my favorite the ones that i reach out to and the best part is i got this as a holiday package and i have colors that go with almost every season so that's the next product that I have is this Essence I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. I never believed in using anything else but a concealer as your eyeshadow base. But since I got this, I mean, it does look like a concealer. It's nothing different from a concealer, but it definitely helps my eye makeup in staying longer and once what I did is I applied this on one eyelid and a concealer on the other eyelid. This had very little creasing and uh, I, 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 of course, I kept the eyeshadow for an entire day and I was of course not at home. We kept going out and I had a few errands to run. So when I got back home, the eyeshadow which was on top of this base had not creased as much as the eyeshadow that was on top of the concealer. So... I think this is amazing but again I'm not sure if the concealer was not that great and this is just like any other good concealer but when I tried I used one of my I'm dropping everything one of my favorite concealers and I was quite impressed with this one so that's my favorite and it is so affordable I think it was about two dollars or four I'm not sure but it's really affordable this next product that I have is a foundation stick and this is by Revlon Photo Ready Instant Fix and I am in the shade Natural Beige. Natural Beige. So as you can see, this is all I have left in this stick and every time I do not want a lot of makeup on my face, I just apply this on the spots where I have acne scar and probably under my eyes and I just set that with some setting powder and I'm good to go. And not just then but i do use this as a foundation as well and this is really not heavy it's very light on your skin doesn't feel like you have anything on and i would say medium to buildable coverage so yeah i'm definitely going to repurchase this as clearly i really like it a lot so i just thought i would give this a quick shout out I did read somewhere that this is a dupe for Bobbi Brown makeup stick but again I haven't used the Bobbi Brown makeup stick so I do not know if it is a dupe but I did read it somewhere but anyway this on its own is amazing. I think Revlon makes amazing foundations. One of my favorite brand for drugstore foundations. The next product I have, I'm sure most of you have guessed by now that this is what I'm going to talk about because I've been praising this product in every video that I've used it. And this is the Anastasia uh, Brow Definer in the shade Granite. And I was kind of skeptical to spend about $23 on this product because the NYX did a great job as well. And that was like half or less than half the price. So I was really skeptical on spending that money. But once I did, I just wanted to give it a try because why not just try something that everyone loves. So when Jacqueline Hill spoke about this, I was like, I need this in my life because she says that it's so good and she suggests the best product. So I just gave this a try and I've fallen in love. It definitely helps in filling my brows faster and... The pigmentation is great and I have no complaints really. I just like this product and it has become my favorite lately. The next product I have is this by Maybelline. And in the previous month, I spoke about how much I like Rimmel Stay Matte. And yes, I love it. I feel that that is the best and there's nothing better than that. But this has definitely taken second place in my life. So good, so great. I don't know why, but I really find this very similar to the Stay Matte. I cannot really say how they're different from each other. Maybe that's why I like it so much. But this works as a great setting powder. Really lasts for long. And I have taken the matte in poreless and definitely this one keeps my skin matte. And I just like it because I have oily skin and I need something that keeps my skin matte. So this has become one of my 
The next two products I'm going to talk about are what I received in my BoxyCharm box. So these are the two things that I received in my BoxyCharm box. The first one is the first one is this by Bella Pierre Cosmetics, which is a gel lip liner, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. This lip liner is so creamy. It has the same consistency of the MAC lip liners it is so creamy and oh it literally glides on your skin that's how creamy it is and i'm sure i'm going to buy more from this brand and uh, it's amazing i have no clue how much it is i'm really not sure and i'm so sorry about that but i will leave the link to these liners in the description box below the link not just the name this is amazing very creamy very good very nice i love it the next product is by Star Looks Pro, which is the Longwear Eyeliner Pen, and it looks like it can open from both the sides, but no, it just opens on one side. This is just like that. So yeah, this is how the tip is, and these are the kind of tips that I love the most to create a wing. So simple, it like takes me seconds to actually do my wing with a liner like this, and. Trust me, I love the Maybelline, I love the Revlon liner, but once I receive this in my boxy charm, I've hardly been using those two, which is bad as I have to keep switching and seeing which one's amazing because I can let you guys know. But all the three are great right now. I love all the three, but I've used Revlon and Maybelline for quite some time now, and this has become my new form of love. And I'm definitely going to switch between the three and see if I actually see like a difference or see which one's better and let you guys know. Although I think, I think I might be making this up. The Maybelline and the Revlon are a little more affordable. I think, but I might be making this up. The last product that I have to share with all of you is this Tarte Lights Camera and Lashes Mascara, which is brilliant. This is how the wand looks and I don't know if it actually gives volume but it definitely lengthens my, my lashes and that's what I've seen and I really like them so yeah this is really cute and amazing and give it a try if you have a chance this is of course the deluxe sample because I got this in one of the Tarte holiday palettes but I think this would suffice for me as very rarely do I go through products, so I think these sizes work really well for me. So that's it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. And yeah, if you're wondering why I do not have nail polish on my nails for the longest time, the reason for that is I tried these acrylic nails and took them off like, a few days ago and I just don't like how my nails feel after that so I'm just letting it probably come back to the normal feel of the nail because right now it's so rough so I'm just letting it feel normal and then I will start applying nail color until then you're just gonna see my nails like this so that's all I have to say and see you in my next video have a great weekend Lots of love and happiness to everyone. Have a great weekend. See you in my next video. Bye.